Hello, Latin 2. All right, so now we're on to the imperfect subjunctives. And I've actually decided to fold the deponents in with this as well. So to make the imperfect subjunctive, what you need to do is take your infinitive and just use that as the stem, okay? And that's gonna be true for the, uh, the active and the passive. So here you go. So for the imperfect subjunctive, you're going to take the present infinitive as the stem. Uh, and then you're going to add on the standard endings for the active uh, voice, okay? Uh, and for the passive, you're going to use the present infinitive again as the stem, and you're going to use the standard endings for the passives. And what I mean by standard endings is essentially your MST, Mustis, NT, and your Aristor, Mormon, Intor endings, okay? It, what goes in front of that will often determine if it's uh, present or imperfect or future or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's just the same basic standard endings, MST, Mustis, NT. I know some of you are thinking, wait, what happened to O? But if you remember making an O and making an M, your mouth is doing the same thing. So <clears throat> it ends up being very similar. Now, what we have here is <clears throat> your standard verbs, non-deponents, okay? The active, portare, and just portarem, portares, portaret. Portaremus, portaretis, portarent. Moere, moerem, moeres, moeret, and on and on. Mitra, mitrem, mitres, mitret, okay? Um, and mitremus, mitretis, mitrent. There's no u there, okay? It all just keeps this as the stem the whole time through. Even the subjunctives are more regular than the present tense indicative. <clears throat> With IOs of the third, it doesn't matter that they're IOs of the third. You just do the infinitive and then MST, Musti, Senti. And for fourths, Audirem, Audires, Audiret, and the same thing. Now, when you're doing the, uh, the passives, you will see, there we go, Portarer, Portareris, Portaretor, Aristor, Mormoni, Intor, okay? So, Moerer, Moereris, Moeretor. Which means, yeah, you're going to get into some fun stuff where it's like moeremeni, okay? Uh, moeremeni, moeremeni, there we go. <clears throat> and things like that. But, miterer, mitereris, mitereretur, and on and on. Yakarer, yakareris, yakareretur. Audirer, audireris, audireretur. It's the same thing over and over again. So it's very, very simple. This is probably why the book taught you these first because they really are the easiest to conjugate. And they do look like somebody conjugated them way wrong, don't they? They look like somebody in Latin 1 forgot step 2 of knocking off the RE. But that's exactly how you get to the imperfect subjunctives. Now, for the deponents of the imperfect subjunctives, <clears throat> it's essentially the same idea, except that we didn't use this form of the verb um, except for in the imperative. So if you want, you could say that you're going to take the imperative singular. Uh, so conari in the imperative singular is conare. So it looks a lot like the infinitives of standard verbs. And then you just add in rs to r ris tour mor muni intor. Okay, so conare, conareris, conare tour, were rare, were rareris, were re tour, loque rare. Loquereris, loquereretur, regrederere, regrederereris, regrederetur, and then experirer, experireris, experiretur, and on and on and on. Okay, and it's more minion tour. Okay, so it's essentially going to look so much more like the non deponents that it, it barely deserves mention, but. The way to do the deponents is you're technically taking the imperative form and then just tacking on endings to it. So that's the imperfect. The next video is where I'm going to show you the perfect. So I'm showing you in the order of the columns, right? So we went with um, the present and then the imperfect, and then we're gonna go with the uh, perfect and the pluperfect. And that's how it works. And again, there's no future in the subjunctive because both of those are unreal. I'm gonna hit the button now.